right, we're here with Apollo, Paul, and Mark from Restless Spirit at Portal Louisville. If you're not here, you're fucking missing out. Uh, guys, thank you for taking a minute and hanging out with me before the show. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, so far, how's the tour going for you? Good. <laughs> it's like, good. Yeah, no, it, it's really good. Um, all the shows have been fun. A lot of people coming out. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes when you're playing places that you're not, you don't often go to, you don't know what to expect. Like even, uh, I think we started in Chattanooga, 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 Chattanooga and, uh, Chattanooga, I, yeah. we never played there. So, um, it was cool that like a bunch of people came out still and, you know, but yeah, it was really good. North Carolina was really good. Too. North Carolina yeah. was good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Snug, 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 Snug Harbor. Harbor. Snug Harbor, Snug Harbor. Yeah. Charlotte. Snug Harbor. Really Hell really yeah. Good turnout, yeah. Well, that's fucking great. I love hearing that. I like seeing I like seeing good bands get turnout, get some people to so they can keep fucking going. Because yeah, yeah. You know, shit. it's it's Fuck tough. Nice. You know, it's tough when you get out there and there's no one out there. I mean, we we've done that for so long that I don't think that's really going to stop at this, at this point. But that's fair. it's nice when people do come out. Yeah. So, how did you guys react with when COVID hit? Um, it sort of. Uh, I took some time to write a new album and uh, <clears throat> for anyone listening to this, also my voice is just shot. So sorry about that. But um, yeah, I, I just took some time to write a new album. I honestly kind of liked it. The, the freedom it gave to sort of just take a step back and realize like everything has been shut down. Uh, there's no pressure. There's no rat race. I remember seeing like a video of uh, what's his face, Rob Halford in like, I don't know, his underwear, like a bad towel or something like that. And you just realize like everybody's, you know, just doing chilling. the same thing. So it was really nice to be honest. You know, we got a great album out of it. So fuck yeah. And I feel bad saying it because it was so, so horrible for so many bands, but it was a really, really nice reset for us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of bands actually used it for a reset, right? Yeah. Like there were some bands that didn't make it through it, unfortunately, but you know, so many. Yeah, but talking to a lot of them, right? What they what they did is they they tried to figure out their online st their online presence really and push that, which when shows came back really helped, you know, attendance for the shows, which I think looks like you know from seeing the people rolling in already, it looks like we're gonna have a pretty good turnout tonight too, which I'm I'm oh, super yeah. fucking excited for. Yeah. yeah, it's always good also when you get like a good promotion team and stuff like that because sometimes you go to a place like oh I wish there were more people there and sort of there's so many things outside of your control. Yeah, you know, and you can only push so much on your own. Yeah, like with your own social media. So we I, I don't know we just kind of do whatever. I, well, I do whatever feels natural on social media and try not to listen to any really fucking rules because I don't care. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken, right? Yeah. That's fucking rock and roll. It's always been rock and roll. Yeah. You, know, you know, you can't conform. Uh, whatever it is, right? Social media or, you know, breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Breaking the law. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so how has, with the new album coming out in October, how has the response been? How do you guys see the responses being? Amazing. I mean, uh, there are definitely a lot more people coming out to shows. Um, it's funny because the feedback on it, all the songs that I thought that people were going to like the least end up being everybody's favorites. Um, okay. So, I mean, that's always good. I'm not a very good judge of my, Mark is actually very good at it. You yeah. know, yeah. usually uh, I'll write riffs and be like, I, I don't want to use this. Like, it's like, this we're, we're using it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, new album came out and it was really well received and we're happy with it. So that's really all that matters. Yeah, it sounds opinion. fucking great, dude. I think, <clears throat> Thank it, you. I think it sounds great. I've been jamming it, like getting amped up for the fucking show. So I'm oh, super, yeah. super stoked. Appreciate it. Um, I think, you know, the bill is really fucking stacked tonight. You got Fairy yeah. Ring. If, have you guys checked out Fairy Ring at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. Everyone else I'm like, yeah, I fucking did. Yeah. Doing a little drum yeah. world time. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so like they, they jam. <laughs> Crop's a lot of fun. So, um, I think, and, they, are they both on King Volume mm, or just Fairy Crop, Ring? Just Fairy Ring. Got so, you. Crop, uh, they have a vinyl getting ready to come out on Third House Communications, which is a local label. Oh, cool. Uh, I think that's coming out. I think we were just talking about it like May or June or something. Nice. So that'll be really cool. It's a really cool mock-up. It's like, uh, it's a red and black like smash. Oh, Ooh, nice. sick. Yeah. I like that. So they look really fucking cool. Maybe I'll pop a 
photo of that in there. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, all right. I'm not going to keep you. I'm going to say thanks again. I greatly appreciate you guys, you know, taking a minute out. Go chill out, man. I'm, I'm super excited to see you all. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you Thanks for us, giving yeah, us man. the platform. Fuck yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Rock and roll.